Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's question is a hypothetical enzyme consists of four domains A, D and the amino acid sequence of these four domains have been determined in five related species. Given the proportion of amino acid homologies among the five species at each of the four domains, which domain probably contains the active site? Here is a picture which I took from the internet which show enzyme here in blue color shown active site. Sometimes it can be single protein, sometimes it can consist of certain domains which can be made by different polypeptide chains. For example, this one, this is two, this is three and this is four. It's not necessary that domains would represent different polypeptide chain. It can be a single polypeptide chain and we just uh, separated to different domains because they have different functionality or sometimes we just can visually separate single protein into such domains. So what enzyme do as you see on this picture it's just lower energy that is needed for certain reaction to happen. For example in this case this is a synthesis reaction. But also this reaction can go in the opposite direction when substract represents single molecule which would be broken by enzyme. Now I want you to take a look at this picture. This is a wrench and you can think about wrench just like about enzyme. For example what going to happen if we will use different alloy for the handle probably not too much and what is going to happen if we are going to have a small hole here probably also is not going to affect the wrench. What if we extend the wrench handle it's even probably can help us to do the job but what going to happen if anything is going to happen in this area. Probably most likely this wrench is not going to fit this bolt anymore and it's not going to perform its job. Now we can return to our enzyme and we can say that all these parts probably are not as essential just like in wrench as this part which we call active site and on the enzyme this is going to be this part. So we expect that these parts can accumulate much more mutations than this part. So when scientists compare multiple species in our case five species and they take the same enzyme, same protein, of course it's not going to be the same but will have a higher homology and when they break this protein to different segments or it also can be DNA sequence which code for this protein and they can find that different segments have different percent of homology. And of course as you now know the greatest homology is going to be in the active site. So this is going to be a site with least number of mutations across the species and as you see according to our table this is going to be fragment C or domain C. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.